Hello everyone! I originally wanted to do a uh, unboxing, but my camera ran out of space partway through the unboxing. So instead, I'm just going to do a box walkthrough of the 10th anniversary edition of Firefly the Game. First off, I've noticed a lot of people try to open up the box this way. You're better off going this way. You end up creating a little more airspace here that makes it easier to get the lid right off. And then just to show you the inside of the lid has a lot of beautiful detailing on every single side. Now something you might notice right away I, don't, I already have all the uh, chits or tokens punched out, and yet my token trays are pretty much level with the top. I'll show you how I did that in a moment. But for now, we got the sticker sheet. So far, the only one I know where I'm going to put is probably this one on one of the short sides of this box. That way, it's instead of only having it be marked as Firefly the game on one side, I'll have marked on two sides. And I'll actually be saying that it's the collector's edition. The rest of the stickers, I don't know what I'm going to do with. Next, we got the rule book, which is actually nice, thick, sturdy paper. 60 pages of rules divided up by each expansion that came out. A little thank you letter, which I'm definitely keeping. Then we got the token trays. Three of them I got set up one way, and one of them I got set up slightly different. And I do mean very slightly. Oh, not mean to keep that. So, to go over, I have the upgraded uh, tokens. The acrylic tokens. So I got my contraband and cargo tokens here. Fugitive and uh, passengers in this slot. Disgruntled tokens here. Fuel here. Parts here. Each of these has a little marking on the bottom of the tray to show what is supposed to go there. And I've tried to evenly divide these up as much as possible. The warrants issued slash gold tokens here, marked with a little warrant symbol. In this Haven slot, this is the one difference. I got the Haven tokens, all 10 of them here. The other three, I don't have the Haven tokens. I just figured for game setup purposes, if we're going to be doing havens, I only need to have them in one spot, especially since the other side are these little gold numbered marker things, which are used for certain scenarios or the single player game or just various different things. Usually not the same time you'll be using the havens. Here I got the little complete tokens which are used on some jobs to mark hey i've done the bonus thing as well as the wanted markers in case any of your crew get wanted and lastly the double-sided Re reaver and alliance alert tokens again every slot has a nice marking Makes it very easy. Next tray. We got what I like to think of as the setup tray. I say that because every game, you're going to have money. And you'll probably be passing that out at setup. You got... 
your very sit-up envelopes. Which, you can easily see, one is thicker than the others. Because that's all the story cards. And there's a lot of story cards in this thing. Some of which can be used in single player, some of which can't. Got the dice, which I haven't properly organized because this one should probably be over here because I think that's supposed to be the Reaver associated one. There's 12 dice, 10 player ships, then there's Reaver and Alliance. These are best used if you're going to, well, in addition to putting them with the uh, player or the ship boards, just partnering up the colors to match. You take the little baggie, which is a dice bag, you put them in, shake them up, have people pull out a die, and I want to say this is Jet Wash that I just pulled out. No, that's... Hey, Bonsai. Okay, this one's definitely de Jet Wash. That's... Okay, I was right. Or I was wrong. It's the Artful Dodger that I had pulled out initially. Eh, it doesn't matter. I'm not setting up a... Uh, actual game but that's how you'd utilize those at during setup if you want to go for a random setup of shipboards great if absolutely no one knows the difference between the different boards and you just want to go ahead and use all of them i got the metal and the uh, cardboard First player markers. I'm definitely keeping the uh, cardboard one in case I ever manage to do a 10 player, or even like a six or to, anywhere from six to 10 players. The actual first player gets this one. And then halfway around the table, they get this. That way you're marking two turns that can go simultaneously around the board. Just seems like a good way to keep the game going quick. Over here, I got the uh, leaders, along with all the shinies. Shiny versions of the leaders and the big damn heroes. Next up, this one is always probably going to be a pain to take out, but you will need to take it out. And that's the, don't really have a good name for this one, just the mat section, because it has the beautiful stitched edge entire verse mat. <sighs> then I got the uh, Reaver Alliance contact and Corvette contact cardboard cards over here where it says Firefly 10th Anniversary Collector's Edition. Mostly because, yeah, that's just a space that isn't otherwise being used for anything. I got uh, the flight stands just sitting in one of these slots. Because I couldn't really figure out another good place for them currently. Aim to Mace Behave. It's such a thick deck that they have to give you two slots. Border Space, which... They don't have to give you two slots because this is the same thickness as rim space and alliance space. But they give you two slots anyways. 
still a good idea to have two slots just because if you sleeve your cards, these will take up a lot more space. And again, everything has a nice embossed marking of where it's supposed to go. Capers go in the lips. The drive cores and ship upgrades, the starting ship upgrades. So if you're using as an optional for most of the ships, you can start off with ship upgrades. Those got right here. And Alliance Alerts and Bounties. At least I'm choosing to interpret the Skull and Crossbone as Bounties. Seem to make the most sense to me. Let's just move that out of the way. Next up. Unfortunately, my Harkin and Nyx uh, card seemed to be popped up, but I kept all the uh, fuel parts, fugitive, and cargo tokens just in case I did end up somehow running out of the acrylic. I don't think I will. I bought two four packs, so eight players worth of them but just in case i don't want to throw these away so i slid them right here because underneath this bad boy these two are higher up than all these other slots except for this slot but that's under there is where the ships go so this is like the only airspace in this entire box big enough to actually fit these tokens there is shockingly little airspace in this box and I am impressed and they did a marvelous job with that anyways the ships go in the little corner and nope, not yet can't see the little secret that I'll show you in a bit but gorgeous gorgeous ships and mine came unbroken for which i am so thankful for all are in perfect condition this alliance ship in particular a lot of people have found a ride broken or they broke it very quickly upon trying to put it on the stand and I've already tested the ships out with the flight stands. And pretty much common uh, manufacturing defect. All the reaver ships do not fit well on the, on the flight stands. That's just a common problem with this whole thing. There is suggestions of using uh, poster putty. Some people are suggesting using super glue, in which case... There is a 3D printed version of these boxes that you, I'd recommend you getting. That way, you can just slot them in on the stands. You can find that on BBG or BGG, BoardGameGeek.com. Anyways, go ahead and. Slide that. I wouldn't normally necessarily be taking this out, but there's something I want to show you at the bottom of that box. And I'm going to quickly fix this up and mention something that I've seen no one mention. That is a beautiful feature of this bottommost layer. If you want to play just the base game, no expansions, these 10 decks, these 10 decks that slot right next to the ships, 
right in that row. This is all you need to play a pure base game. And also, you don't need all of these ships, but you'll be taking them out. You'll also be going through these decks and pulling out any of the ones with the expansion symbol, which... Trying to remember where the expansion symbol is on these cards. Ah, there. If you see the expansion symbol, you just pull it out, put it, at, leave it in the butt, bottom of the uh, deck slot, and you just use these, and that's all you need as far as expansions go. Very small detail, but it's one that I want to mention because a lot of people would like to have that informed. And yeah, every single one of these slots is marked at the base. One of the more confusing ones is uh, Fumond, which is one of these lanterns. It's just not as obvious. And to a similar degree, Mer Meridian and Persephone, because both of those are cities, are not super obvious either. But Persephone is base game. Meridian is expansion content. Expansion's all up here. Makes it easier to keep track of which city is which. And lastly, I kept the tokens or the uh, token sheets. Because these give just enough extra thickness right at the bottom that when I put the lid back on, it's all perfectly fits. Nice and snug. Removes as much air as possible. That way the lid doesn't come off easy until I come in from these sides and open it up because I want to get in. And again, beautiful, beautiful inclusions of all these details. They did not have to go this hard on the inside of the box. They really didn't. Most people do not care that much about the inside of their game boxes. That's just where you store the game. But for this 10th anniversary edition, they put artistry into making sure it looked beautiful inside and out. And now, we reassemble. I went with this one on the bottom, or, but it doesn't really matter because both will do their job just fine. Then those, which now that it's, uh, this video is basically over, that's probably not coming out of the bo bottom ever again. Unless I want to see that bottom crew picture. But, the bomb crew picture can also be found in here. Somewhere. Beautiful rule book. A lot of great arts. Anyways. Next, just slip these tokens into their slots. Then bring this in. Lower in that side first, that way the ships can get up. There we go. That way it sits over the ships. Set up. main and the others sticker sheet thank you notes rule book <sighs> lid <Whoop. laughs> did not mean to knock that over 
Anyways, the lid. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.